in our break, we've had major flooding. Birds are getting bigger. <laughs> We're losing some birds. Hi, everybody. It's Stacy from Box Family Homestead. And it's been a while since we posted. We've been really busy. And as you can see, it's kind of rainy. But that's okay. We, uh, in our break, we've had major flooding. We had water outside the house. We had water inside um, the house in the basement. The basement totally flooded. Um, we're now in the process of remodeling. There's bedrooms downstairs. Uh, we've been working. Ellen has finished her first year of high school, so she had weeks worth of finals. Um, yeah, Lily had camp last week. Ellen was at camp last week, and she's at camp for two more weeks. She's a, dude, she's a counselor there. And so I was just going to give you guys a quick tour and a quick update to let you know how things are going. All right. Well, the turkeys have gotten a lot bigger. And I think we have five or six males and one or two females. Uh, we've lost three chickens to a fox. We can't seem to find the fox to trap it or to take care of it. But we've lost three of our chickens. Uh, we are at, I think, 50 or so meat birds now. They are sopping wet because it's cold and rainy. So I put a uh, pallet inside of their little coop in there so at least they can kind of stay up above the wet ground. They, they just look like wet cats. Their processing date will be the weekend after the 4th of July. These turkeys just crack me up. Uh, the garden, we have a new compost pile going. It's doing amazing. The garden is doing great. We rototilled it. We had a bunch of lovely compost in it, but then when the flood came, the flood just got rid of all. So we've put fabric down. We've been planting a lot of greens. Um, there's kale, there's broccoli, there's Brussels sprouts, I believe spinach, cabbage, cauliflower, broccoli, um, we're going to do some peas and beans here pretty soon once it stops raining. But everything is doing great. We plant marigolds in there. It keeps away all of the bugs. Let's see. What else have we done? There's the greenhouse. I think we still have sandbags along the um, septic tank covers. Because when the flood came, it was just underwater and bubbling. and So we have yet take those off. Here's the greenhouse. Things in here are growing great. We got some herbs. And I know there's peas and beans and spinach and other goodies. I'm not sure what they are. But everything in here is going lovely. Uh, there's Lily's orange bell pepper. She loves orange bell peppers. We've got cucumbers, tomatoes. These are sticks that I found on the ground. They're not dead just to hold up the, the stalks there. And we have a bunch of onions. We still have the plant once it stops raining. But so far that is our update. Birds are getting bigger. <laughs> We're losing some birds. Um, life is going and it's going quickly. Yeah, processing time for the turkeys will be uh, probably end of September, October. But other than that, we're hanging in. Hope you guys are doing well. We'll see you guys in the next video. All right, with all the rain, now the driveway is flooded. So we had to move the cars across the street to the cemetery. Water's up under the gate now. 
And all this stuff that we had to move into the garage is under a ton of water too. So luckily we got in here as it was rising. It was rising quickly. Um, but everything's, dressers are done. We have to get the kids new dressers. We got all of the other wood furniture out in time. All the rugs downstairs are ruined. Luckily, over there, there's no water. So the laying chicks are over there. Meat birds are okay. But I have the turkeys. Oh, and the septic tanks are getting water into them now. They're bubbling like crazy. I gave the turkeys pallets, but they're up above there. I gave them their food and their water up above. I don't think it's gone into the shed yet. Woo! Some places are a lot deeper. And it's starting to smell like sewer out here with all of our septics in our wells. So we're getting the water tested today. The shed is dry, so we put furniture into there. The garden is completely flooded. The road's flooded. Neighbor's shop is gonna be flooded. So I'm going to be off here pretty soon to go get our water tested. And Ellen's wearing my old boots that have a really big slit in there, so her socks are soaking wet. But we kept the kids home from school today because we need help. And we stayed home from work today because we have a lot to do.